Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zaina with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day we're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. If you're listening to this series right now on podcast, thank you so much uh, for Stitcher, for iTunes. Make sure you comment and also review and rate. See, the better the ratings, the better this gets out. So please, thank you for doing that. Also, we're kind of pushing YouTube this week, so make sure you subscribe to YouTube. You just go in there and you, t- you search Dr. Zaino, D-R-Z-A-I-N-O, and make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications button. And the really cool kind of thing, the way YouTube's set up, we have playlists where you could see um, the We Are Hero shows in order and the 15 Minute Fuels. Because I know on Facebook, when you try to look at some We Are Heroes 15 Minute Fuels, you're scrolling and scrolling. And also, Facebook only holds so many... Yeah, they, fi- they hold 500 posts, so all the older ones you're going to miss out on. So YouTube could be your shop and station for that. Also share it with others. I love YouTube. YouTube University all the way. All right, so today, uh, this is we're talking about the one month to win. So we're going over visualizing your wins. This would be day 10 in the, one, in the IamHero.com forward slash free series. This will be a free series until the end. When it's the end... Then we got a lot of good feedback, we'll make any necessary changes, and we'll go live to the public or, you know, for the people that are outside our amazing team of yours. All right, so let's talk about visualizing your win. I talked about this. Um, It's a concept that's really powerful, and I talked about it um, just probably a couple of weeks or a couple months ago. Now, when it comes to visualizing your win, You want to visualize things, and this is not like The Secret, that movie The Secret. It's not hokey pokey. It's real stuff where you visualize your goal, you attain your goal. So it's, I do it in everything. So when I, you know, when I visualized this, doing my first uh, We Are Hero keynote, I visualized it. I saw the shirt I was wearing. I felt the audience. I felt the heat of the lights. The vision got so clear. Now, it doesn't always start clear, but the more I daydream, I daydream like a kid. You know how a kid gets playful and a kid's talking to themselves and do this? So I would be like a kid, childlike, and I would see the vision. I'd be on that stage, and the lights were hot, and there was the cameras, and there's the people, and I'm wearing a black and yellow shirt that I had to get because I saw a black and yellow shirt first, and then I just went through it. And then, and then what happens is I, I, I go over it, and I feel it to the point where I get so excited about it or I actually live through it in my mind that I, it creates a physical and visceral response I literally will start to cry or I get emotional or teary. That's where you want to get to because then when that vision creates an emotional or visceral response, your body literally felt like it already has went through it. All right? Athletes do it. Fighters do it. Everybody, all big vision. They, they do it instinctively. They, they vision out. I remember when I was getting from my shows, you know, when the Mr. Universe, even though that was totally subjective, you know, when I'm walking on that treadmill, I'm just envisioning, I'm on there. And, you know, I'm getting fifth, fourth, third, I'm getting, I'm winning, and now I'm winning. And then I say, you know, my hand's getting raised, and, and then the, the cheers and the applause, and just it welled up with emotion. And I'm on a treadmill getting emotional. Or, so, or, or sometimes I envision uh, what I do for my kids. And I really believe this is prayer. I think all the, I think all the prayer um, saying, uh, you know, what people say magic spells that's how they use prayers. Are they asking God like he's, he's a grape giver? I think those prayers are just words, almost like they use them as spells. You know what I mean? Oh, protect me, do this. It's like, what can I get? And it, you're using words, you're quoting scripture like it's a spell. I know it's rough, but you know what I mean, right? We're here, like when Paul says, you know, see, you know just see, don't, don't cease praying. Like just, just walk through, you always be in prayer. And I really think the best is, you know, because we all speak different languages, right? I speak English, someone speaks Spanish, someone might speak Mandarin. So we're saying words, and they sound different, but they could be meaning the same thing. So I don't really think, you know, God's translating up there. I really believe it, it comes from not a thought word. I think it comes from a feeling, right? Spirits feel. And you know exactly what I mean. That's, that's why, like, I totally disagree that animals don't have spirits. If you have a dog, you know exactly what I mean, you know? So, I mean, they feel, they know. So I think... I think, you know, the spirit or intelligence feels. So this is where when you envision and you visualize, it's so real and you have that feeling. I really think it's like the greatest form of prayer. And I think that feeling is what it, it, it kind of connects your spirit to what needs to happen. So for my kids, you know, sometimes I'll hear a song on the radio and, uh, you, you know, I just heard one song for, for one second or, or a couple seconds, actually. You know, I pictured Titus. 
you know, being a teenager uh, playing and singing the song. I just daydream about it. It was cool. I, I just could. It was something that I could picture Titus doing. And man, I just I saw him doing it, and it just like it wells up. He gets so emotional. It's like my prayer for my kids that um, it represented that he was being a free expression of himself. And just, just whatever gifts and talents he's been given, he's expressing it and he's enriching the world with the beautiful gifts and talents and going full hero mode. And man, that makes a dad emotional. Or, you know, when I see justice winning or I see justice, uh, you know, ahead of time. Not, he does, it's, it's like in my mind, it gets to the point where it becomes emotional. So my, my visions, it's not like I get knocked over the head and see a visions, but the, the daydream that I do, I daydream to the point of a visceral emotional response and my body feels like it already has happened, plain and simple. That's part one. I mean, whether it be my practice, I remember seeing, you know, 2,000 a week. I remember seeing so many people coming in. And as I kept that dream going, as I kept seeing that, it started to manifest. And I'll tell you, the second part, I'll tell you why. Now, the second part is now you see that, you feel the, the physical, emotional uh, response. But here's what happened. See, this is where the whole secret thing doesn't come into play. It's not like I'm going to pray and then I'm just going to get a knock on my door. And then there's uh, the opportunity. When I see that and I daydream and I see that, I was on stage, I was delivering the keynote in such an amazing way and I was impacting people. I became inspired by that vision. I became inspired by that dream. So I literally became inspired by my own dream. You follow what I'm saying? So I wasn't inspired by anybody else. I was inspired by what my potential could be. You follow me? So how many of us are inspired by other people? You know, we're inspired by, uh, you know, it could be a, a bunch of different things. I'm going to take that filter off. There you go. Let me, you know, so we're inspired by, um, I don't know, other speakers, whatever. But we want to be inspired by ourselves. So I'm looking to be inspired by me because I'm the one who, you know, I have to live the, the full authentic version of my genius. So when I see myself speaking, or I saw myself in the Mr. Universe, or I see my kids developing, or I see the, the, the practice growing, I feel that, and then I get inspired by that potential because my body felt like it was already happening, so I'm inspired by that. So let's break that down to your goals. If your goals is eating correctly, you know, you see yourself making all your meals, and how do you feel? Remember, spirits feel. How does that make you feel? You feel great. How does it feel when, you, when your clothes are too baggy? It feels awesome if you're trying to lose weight. If you're trying to get big, it doesn't. You know, but I mean, you start to you go through these things, and you actually, you create the emotion like the goal has already been accomplished. Right? So how would you feel when that goal is accomplished? I feel happy. I feel strong. You know, for me, you know, uh, you know, my vision is still like a bunch of stages and me talking and just the, the roar of the crowd, all these things that happen. And so that what happens is when I'm inspired by the potential or that vision or that dream, then it makes me work my ass off, plain and simple, because then I'm like, it can happen because I already felt it. I already went through it. Like Lance Armstrong used to talk about that. I don't care what drugs he was on. That guy had to do the tour to France. Like he, he would go through it in his mind over and over again. So he says when they climbed the mountains, which is the toughest part, he's like, I've been through this like hundreds of times. So it was, there was no pain. There, like he's already been through that because he's been through it here. So that visualization is you get inspired. Your body already has been through it. it feels, your body feels like what, it, what it's like to actually achieve it. And then all you have to do is close the gap by working towards it. So when you, when you get inspired, you get emotional, you get, you get excited about, wow, in my mind I dream this. And then I get excited that that makes me do the work. That makes me put in the work I need to do. That makes me videotape my talk and send it to Roberto a hundred times. That makes me practice something 200 times. Because why do I practice 200 times? Because the vision has this response. I already saw it. I saw what's happening. The crowd did this. So the meeting planner said it was great. So in order for that to come to pass in reality, and I already saw it, I already felt it, then I know I need to put the work in. But I'm putting the work in because a lot of times we don't put the work in. You know why? Because we're afraid we're going to fail. We're afraid we'll put the work in and it's not going to work. We're afraid we're going to put the work in and we're going to fall short. But man, when I saw it and when I feel it, then all I have to do is put the work in. You know why? Because I already saw it and I already felt it. And so I know I put the work in and I'm not going to fail. I'm going to get it. And it happens every single time. If you watch the We Are Heroes show, if you watch it from episode one till now, over and over and over again, I sound like a fortune teller. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is the goal. And I'm not lucky. 
I see it, I feel it, I'm, I, I commit to it, and then I work so hard. I work my butt off because I've already been there. And all I have to do is put the hard work in and ensure that vision, that dream that I felt, that I know is possible, will be able to happen. So it's definitely not the movie The Secret where you just wish on something and then it appears. And I really think visualization is the ultimate form of prayer, 100%, because it's the spirit feels. You know, we, we all speak different languages around the world, but, but you know what? All our spirits could feel the same thing. You ever see when, no matter what language you are, when someone close to them passes away, don't, don't we all feel the same way? You know, when we win, don't we all feel the same way? We might speak differently, but spirit feels. That's where the emotion comes in. So if you could visualize, see that dream. I don't care what your goal is, but see it. Daydream like a kid. Get excited. Think like a kid. I daydream all the time, and I think that's a very unique talent and gift I have is that I can dream like a kid, and it keeps me excited. It, uh, it puts me in a different state. I could see the win. I could feel it. I get to the point of what we call a tear of inspiration, and then I know the, that, that vision gets clearer and clearer, and I'm inspired and excited by it. So the days I don't want to do it, I get, expi I, I get ex excited about it. And so that's why I, I believe you visualize your win. It's very important because because you don't have the win yet. And so you're thinking, well, what happens if I do all this and nothing, nothing works? But I guarantee when you visualize and you see the big picture in your mind, it will change everything. It really is just probably one of the greatest techniques I tell you guys to do, but not without, uh, not, not without the work. In fact, I think I work hard or I work harder because I'm able to see it, right? If you knew you had a goal and the goal you set out, you knew you would get that goal, how hard would you work? Oh, you'd love it. You'd be 100% in. But it's that little bit of fear along the way that, that visualization breaks through the fear. All right, have an amazing day. Hope you guys like that. That's a definite thumbs up. That's a big heart. And make sure you share it, okay, because when you share, other people get to hear this. So just, just start daydreaming like a kid. You're like, there's, there's no system to it. You know, uh, maybe a song will inspire you. I, uh, the other day, I was dealing with, uh, I was actually dealing with a very major, major life decision uh, question. Huge. It literally would have altered my entire life. And uh, a Bon Jovi song comes on, uh, you know, uh, uh, Wanted Dead or Alive. And just some words in that song, like, triggered an emotional response and allowed me to definitely make the decision I need to do. And if you do like Bon Jovi, uh, the, the phrase was, I seen a million faces and I rocked them all. And uh, that really helped me decide to fight versus uh, submit to a situation. But that's uh, a story hopefully we'll never have to talk about. So anyways, you see like, so be a, be a, pay attention to your surroundings. You might be watching a movie. I know my wife went to see Wonder Woman and she cried through the whole movie. Why? Was it a sad movie? Absolutely not. But my wife is building her heroes her hero message, right, for women, so she's in there, so it just happened to be that movie just connected to something that she's dealing with and working on, so it was emotional, so when you, when you feel the pull, when you feel the emotion, when you could daydream like a kid, and you see it, listen to your heart, feel that spirit, and let that motivate you to reach your goals. All right, have a blessed day, we'll see you guys soon with 15 Minute Fuel.